Welcome to the Performance Banker Podcast. You'll hear banking industry experts providing unique insights and expertise to help bankers achieve higher performance, obtain outstanding results, and gain a competitive advantage. Here's your host, Tanya Gossage. Hello and welcome. This is Tanya Gossage, your Performance Banker. The podcast today is going to be about learning secrets. And it is going to probably last two or three episodes. But I'm so excited about this topic because you're going to learn some new technology that I have been studying for several weeks now. And as I mentioned, it's going to uh, take a few episodes to get through this. So let's go ahead and get right into the session. I hope you enjoy it as much as I have, and I hope that you learn something about yourself and about those that you work with. So as I mentioned, we're going to share all of the secrets that help you learn more effectively with a tool that is called Bank. How ironic. It goes with what I do in working with banks and the performance banker, but bank being an acronym for blueprint, action, nurturing, and knowledge. So you'll understand how to support every bank code being a personality code in learning better than what you know today. And you're probably already thinking, oh my goodness, I've taken so many personality assessments, but I want you to hang with me because while you've taken so many personality assessments, you have not taken this one, I assure you unless you've been with me for the last few weeks, you may have taken it with me. But you may be saying, how is it different? I can promise you it is different. So stick with me and you'll find out. But how is it going to help you with learning? This has the tips and tricks to help you learn better yourself, no matter what your bank code is. And I am going to reveal how each personality type approaches learning. The learning secrets by each personality type. How to take learning secrets to the bank, how to use code breaker tools to leverage the secrets for greater learning success. Now, many say that knowledge is power. The truth is that knowledge is only potential power. Only when knowledge is organized into a plan of action towards some type of impact or contribution does it become powerful. Only through lifelong learning can you set yourself on an upward trajectory towards massive success. Learning can take many forms. Maybe you're still in high school, you're going to college, you're in universities. Maybe you're trying to read a certain number of magazines, personal development, books, online audibles, whatever that may be for you. Again, learning can take uh, many forms. But all of that is critical to your success. But let's talk about bank, blueprint, action, nurture, knowledge, and learning. Our bank codes may often be called our buying personalities. Built on a deeper level, they identify how we communicate and buy into an idea. 
The important thing is to understand that each bank code has a different set of values and those values, they drive our decision making. Okay. Those set of values drive our decision making. Nothing is as critical for learning as understanding the message. You get that? You need to listen for the message. Our bank codes determine whether or not we will understand, so listen for understanding and engage with what is being taught. So whether you're the teacher, the parent, the learner, bank teaches you more than just the values that will make your audiences want to buy. Okay, the information that you're trying to teach or learn. Bank teaches you the core values that you must filter all of your classes through that every bank code can engage and master whatever the topic is that you're trying to teach. The bank codes and learning Okay, so bank codes and learning, follow me here. We're going to, or I'm going to talk to you about 12 primary values. This is very important here of each personality type. Remember, I said bank stood for blueprint, action, nurturing, and knowledge. So each one of those have 12 values that go with each personality type. And they all boil down to behaviors motivated by those values. Okay, so I'm going to go over them. So the values of a blueprint is, and I've got to look here at my notes, so forgive me here, but the values of a blueprint is, because I don't have them all memorized, stability, structure, systems, planning, processes, predictability, responsibility, duty, rules, credentials, titles, and tradition. Are you a blueprint? Listen to this, action, freedom, flexibility, spontaneity, action, opportunity, excitement, attention, Simulation, competition, winning, fun, image, action, nurturing, relationships, authenticity, personal, growth, significance, teamwork, involvement, community, charity, ethics, harmony, morality, contribution, nurturing the knowledge personality type. They love learning, intelligence, logic, self-mastery, technology, research and development, science, universal truths, expertise, competence, accuracy, and they love the big picture. Okay, now here's how each one of them approach learning. Now the blueprints, we call them the B's. They are rote learners who need drilling and repetition to learn best. They need drilling and repetition to learn best. They prefer well-organized lessons that build on foundational ideas step-by-step. Blueprints learn from their mistakes, so they like to have plenty of worksheets and problems to practice the topic methodology. Just make sure that you have plenty of time to review, and the B's are quite conscientious. If you're a teacher or conveying information to a blueprint, only a well-planned course is likely to engage a blueprint type. They need to know exactly, 
get this, what policies, procedures, and content to expect from a detailed syllabus. Because bees plan their lives well in advance, changing any due dates, protocols, or other details is considered an interruption in their learning process, which may turn them off the subject. Blueprints, they live inside the box. If you mess up their plan, you have messed up their day, okay? Now, let's talk about an action and how they approach learning. They are so hands-on. They're experimental learners who need plenty of stimulation and interaction to learn best. They prefer fun courses that get straight to the bottom line, minimizing the theory as much as possible. Actions always want to know what's in it for them, unless you show why they benefit from learning something. A's, they get distracted and they lose focus. Action types need action. It's right there in the name. <laughs> they often struggle to learn the traditional lecture focus setting. Give A's opportunity to apply what they've learned in real life so that they can see the value and will dedicate themselves to being best. A little competition for those actions go a long way. And you're not going to be surprised by this. A's always love to win. A's love to win. Okay, now here we go for your nurturers. Or let me go back to those A's for just a minute. They live outside of the box. Do not try to put them inside of the box. They're not going to be able to stay there. They often get classified with ADD or ADHD. And it's not that they have that. They're action people. That's a true personality. Okay, our nurturers. Here's how they approach learning. They're intuitive learners who need plenty of generous support before they can learn best. They prefer group learning experiences where they can work in harmony as a team. They love teamwork to achieve learning objectives. Nurturers are on an external quest for personal development and self-actualization. So they value learning opportunities that help them achieve those goals. These people, they recycle the box. Although the course content is always essential, nurturing types need to connect with their instructors, their professors, their classmates, as much as they do the material. They need to connect with both. The ends will not be able to concentrate unless the whole group is engaged. In fact, they often learn best by tutoring and helping others because they highly value motivating and coach, coaching others. These are great coaches, trainers, facilitators. They are great connectors, relationship builders, networkers, your coins, center of influences, great people, build wonderful relationships. Now, our knowledge, our knowledge approach learning, they're passionate learners who need deep analysis in context of the big picture to learn best. They prefer Socratic seminars where they can ask questions and delve into abstract ideas. 
knowledge, value, learning so that they can enjoy an opportunity to, uh, to uh, tackle a brand new subject. Although that they will be bored very quickly if kept at the surface level or confined to memorization. They don't care for that at all. These people, they re-engineer the box. They created, or they engineered the box, not re-engineered it. They engineered that box so that that box was there for the blueprints, the nurturers, the action takers. Those not knowledge types, they're the, tr the only trust experts who have a firm grasp of the facts backed by plenty of data. If a teacher seems unsure or unprepared, those K's tend to disregard their information, preferring to do their own research. You have to give those K's the opportunity to debate others and seek universal truths. However, they're going to engage in learning endlessly. If you have kids that love technology, they're your Lego builders, they're building things, those are your knowledge people. I have a grandson that is a knowledge, loves to build. He's a Lego building machine. These people take days to make a decision. They've got to research it all out. They have to know the facts. One day we'll talk about sales and how these, all these personalities, how they buy. But this is the way that they learn. And this is just scratching the surface on learning. We're going to go deeper into this in additional episodes. But I want to stop here for today. Just give you enough to think about. Have you already put yourself in one of these categories? Do you know who you are right now? And if you can't wait to find out who you are, I'm going to give you in one of these sessions how to find out what your code is. It's not today, but if you can't wait till that session, you can reach out to me at my email address, Tanya at GossagePerformanceConsulting.com. And I will send you the link so that you can crack your code to see who you are. But until then, this is Tanya, your performance banker, educating you on how you and your classmates and your family and how those around you learn. This is going to be exciting. But until then, your performance banker, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for listening. Be sure to download and subscribe wherever you get your shows. Find more content on our YouTube channel. Link is in the show notes. This podcast is sponsored by GossagePerformanceConsulting.com. Performance